Fair enough. Uh, we'll take a break from the dancing for just a minute and we'll uh, do a little political dancing, I guess, Tom. <laughs> uh, it's good to see you. Thanks for joining us Thanks. tonight. It's good to be uh, here. You had a good trip out? It's been a great trip. Real good trip. Uh, the city's been dark for a couple hours now. I want to tell you that during the course of the uh, morning and afternoon, we, we've had howitzers go off on the lawn out here. We've had Capitol Law and Geese going by in the morning. We've had colorful parades. We've had excellent costumes, great visits with South Dakota. You just got into town and it's been dark and the cover of darkness you moved to the town has been celebrating all day long. Have you sensed that spirit when you got I have. You know, I really have. It's a, just a perfect way to end the centennial events for the whole year. It's been an up for the state. I, as I traveled across the whole state, I felt it uh, in small communities throughout the state, a, a real feel of celebration, of unity, of, of, uh, of joyous uh, attitude about our state and, and of the last hundred years. So this is about as perfect a climax to the whole year as I think anyone could have hoped to have. What we need to do is figure out a way to get the energy and the resources that we use to pull up all these you know, fundraising events that, that put new schoolhouses up, that made museums to move that forward in the, in the future of South Dakota. Do you have an idea for how we might be able to get these people organized to do that? Well, I think if ever we could get off to a good start, this is it. I think there is an attitude that uh, we can celebrate the last hundred years, we've got the plan for the next. And uh, as I've traveled about, there really is a determination to use the kind of unanimity, the kind of sense of cohesion that we have right now, the optimism about the future, and make it work for us. And I, I sense that tonight there's just another demonstration of it. Okay, well, we appreciate the opportunity that uh, you afford us to visit with you and to reach out the Cotons and wish them a happy 100 years. Uh, anything else we need to add? I don't think so. I, I really want to applaud public television for doing this. It's, a, it's a, a fine way for people all over our state, and perhaps, as I understand it, all over the country, Rich, uh, to have the chance to see what's happening here. I have a, every reason to believe that uh, there are people all over the country right now celebrating with us, as they should. We have a lot to celebrate, a lot to feel good about, uh, a lot to think about as we look for the next hundred years, and uh, for public TV to be a part of it is a real tribute to you and to us. Well, thank you for helping us out with it. We appreciate it and look forward to working with you in the future. Thank you. Thank you. We'll be going back to the activities down in the Capitol of Rotunda, and we'll check out some of the music, and uh, perhaps Linda can bring us up to the other place. Yes, we've gone into the waltz set now because the foxtrot probably wore a few people out just a bit and got them a little bit heated, so they will probably go over and have a sip of punch. And now the elegant waltzes have begun. Right now we're listening to Sweet Violet. And uh, very shortly we'll be hearing music by Sigmund Romberg, the Maytime Waltz from one of his operettas. It's a fabulous evening tonight, a gala event, and I think even more colorful than I ever imagined could be possible here. Uh, as the capital looks like a jewel, and so do all these fantastic, beautiful people that we are watching. South Dakota is really celebrating tonight.
We are here at the Capitol Ball in the Capitol Rotunda and listening to the 25th University of South Dakota Centennial Dance Orchestra under the direction of Professor Skip Swenson. We have one more waltz in the 